if you consider Indian logic, we can say that this pramanas and also the various pramanas that are accepted by the various schools of Indian philosophy is a very important area that we need to consider. So in this session, we are focusing on that particular area. So we'll be just taking the different uh, schools of philosophy, the different schools that are associated with Indian philosophy, and also we'll be focusing on the pramanas that are accepted by each of these schools. So what we are going to do is we'll be just focusing on a question that was asked uh, for the NTUGC in that December 2021 and June 2022 merge cycles. And through this question, we'll be exploring this area in detail. So here you have the question. This question was asked for the third shift of commerce. So the question goes like this. Which of the following pramanas are accepted as valid by the Nyaikyas? And we have the options perception, inference, presumption, verbal testimony, and comparison. So what is the question here? We need to identify the pramanas that are accepted as valid by the Nyaya school of philosophy, or we can call it as, or it is focusing on the Nyaya scholars. So which among the following pramanas are accepted by Nyaya school? So considering the various pramanas, we can see that we have six important pramanas that need to be focused. We have pratiksha, which is perception. That is the knowledge that we are acquiring. Basically, pramanas is the valid sources of knowledge. We can actually acquire knowledge through various sources. So these pramanas are basically these valid sources of knowledge. And pratiksha means perception, the knowledge that we acquire or we are getting through direct perception. We are perceiving through our eyes. We are seeing it and gaining it. So that is pratiksha or perception. Then we have anuman, which is inference. This is a very important area that we need to concentrate on when it comes to the exam as well, because we need to find or we need to concentrate on the structure of an inference or an anuman. And also we need to identify the various types of inference as well. So these are very important from that point of view. Then we have upaman, which is comparison. We at times compare things and from that we'll be acquiring knowledge. Then we have shabtha, which is verbal testimony. The knowledge that we are attaining from valid spoken or written words. So let's say if you are just referring to a very uh, authentic book on something or a very authentic a person from whom you are getting some information regarding a particular topic, that is again a valid source of knowledge, right? So that is verbal testimony or shabtha. Then we have arthapati or postulation. At times, we'll be postulating things in order to get knowledge. Let's say if you have a friend or let's say if you have a student and that particular person is not an active person inside the class and let's say he or she is your hostel mate as well. So that person is not even studying in hostel also. But when it comes to exams, what happens that person is scoring very good marks. So he's not a person who is very active in the class and no, not, you haven't seen him or her studying uh, in the hostel as well. But at the end of the day, when it comes to exams, he's scoring good marks. So we'll be postulating uh, from these cognitions that, okay, this person might be studying alone without, uh, without getting along with other person. This might, person might be going and sitting alone and studying. That's why this person is scoring good marks. This is a postulation. So this is again a valid source of knowledge or pramana that is arthapati or postulation. Then we have known apprehension that is anupalapti. This is a pramana which is actually focusing on or this is a knowledge. Let's say this is used in order to recognize the absence of something. So in order to understand or acquire the knowledge of the absence of a thing that requires a separate uh, means of or means or source of knowledge that is anupalapti or non apprehension. So what we need to focus here is all these pramanas are important. We are not going into the details of these pramanas in this session. We have already done a video on that. That link is given in the description box. You can just check it out. Okay. So what is our focus on this session is that we'll be just focusing on the various schools of philosophy and also we'll be focusing on the various valid sources of knowledge or pramanas that are accepted by these different schools.
that actually explains this entire idea. So this actually includes all the important schools of philosophy, the Indian philosophy, which includes Buddhism, Jainism, Charvaka, Vaisheshika, Nyaya, Sankhya, Mimamsa and Vedanta. And here you have the various sources of knowledge which are accepted by the various schools that are mentioned in the list one. Okay, so let's consider the first three, Buddhism, Jainism and Charvaka or school of materialism. So these three schools are known as the Nasti group because they reject the authority of Vedas and the others are actually uh, named as Astik because they are accepting the Vedic authority. That's why we have this kind of an arrangement here. The first three can be called as Nastik. They reject the authority of Veda, which includes Buddhism, Jainism and also the school of materialism. And the other schools are known as or they are termed as Astik because they accept the Vedic authority. So considering Buddhism, Buddhism actually accepts only two sources or two pramanas as valid. So this is what we have to focus here. So we have six different pramanas or six different sources of valid knowledge, but all these schools are not accepting all those six pramanas. That is the logic or that is the idea you should have to understand here. Okay, Buddhism accepts only Pratiksha and Anuman as the valid sources of knowledge. Coming to Jainism, we have Pratiksha, Anuman and Shabtha. School of Materialism or Charvaka accepts only Pratiksha. Then you have Vaisheshika, that is school of empiricism, which includes or which accepts Pratyaksha and Anuman alone as valid sources of knowledge. Nyaya, school of logic, which includes or which accepts Pratyaksha, Anuman, Upaman and Shabdha as valid sources. Then you have Sankhya, which is school of dualism, which accepts Pratyaksha, Anuman and Shabdha as valid sources. Then you have Mimamsa, which is also known as Purva Mimamsa. This Mimamsa is termed as Purva Mimamsa and Vedanta is termed as Uttara Mimamsa. Why I just mentioned these terms is because at times in question they will be asking you or they will be just adding those terms. So make sure that you know that alternative names or that uh, terms as well. Okay, so Mimamsa accepts all the six pramanas that we have discussed. Pratiksha, Anuman, Upaman, Shabda, Arthupati and Anupalapti and Vedanta also accepts all the six pramanas. So the point here is when you consider the different Indian schools of philosophies, we have this Mimamsa and Vedanta, both these schools they accept all the six pramanas which includes Pratiksha, Anuman, Upaman, Shabda, Arthapadi and Anupalapti and the other schools you have to concentrate on each of them. Considering the school of logic itself, Naya philosophy, it, it only accepts four of the pramanas we have pratiksha anuman upaman and shabda so what you have to focus here it's just focus on this table you can just write down or you can just jot down the points that are given here and study this table so this is a very important area that you have to focus on if you know this table the questions from this will be really easy and if you don't know it is really confusing and it's not easy for us to identify the right answers coming back to the question that we are discussing here the question here asks us to find out the pramanas that are, that are accepted as valid by the Nyaya school of philosophy. So considering Nyaya school, we know that Pratiksha, Anuman, Upaman and Shabda are the valid sources that are accepted by Nyaya school. So which includes perception, inference, then you have comparison and verbal testimony. So because the options given here is in English, that's why I have just mentioned that terms as well. So perception is accepted here, that, so that is Pratiksha, then you have Anuman or inference that is accepted, verbal testimony, Shabdha and comparison that is Superman. All these four, perception, inference, verbal testimony and comparison, all these four Pramanas are accepted as valid by the Nyaya philosophy, but presumption is not accepted there. So that's why we are not taking that option. So presumption basically means uh, which is associated with Arthapati. Okay, so that is not accepted by Nyaya philosophy. In that sense, we can say that a, B, D and E will be the right answer, right options that you can choose from here. So A, B, D and E only is option C. So the right answer for this question is option C itself. So in this video, we have discussed one of the important areas that you need to study under Intel logic. So this is an area from which we are getting questions very frequently. So have a very good idea about the various pramanas. And also in this session, we have concentrated on the various Indian schools of philosophy and their accepted sources of knowledge. Okay, so make sure that I have already given you a table. So just take down the table and study that. If you can study that, you can actually score two marks if you're getting a question from this particular area. So this is how you have to focus on the important areas. We need to identify the most important areas, the most frequently asked areas and concentrate on those areas from a net point of view. So this kind of a structured and this kind of a systematic approach is what actually 
uh, gives you a very good score in your exam. So make sure that you are following this kind of a pattern when you are preparing. And if you need any kind of guidance to have a very structured, systematic kind of a preparation, you can actually think of Applebee's courses. We are offering online as well as offline courses for uh, Inter UGC Net. And if you want to know more about our courses, you can just contact the number that is given below. So thanks for watching and happy learning.